Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going over the Large Electric Pull Mod, and this is going to be a super quick one, uh, very easy, straightforward, uh, but a cool mod nonetheless. So this is very new, it just came out like a day or two ago, uh, but uh, it adds in this new Large Electric Pull you can see here. Uh, pretty nice graphics, I like it. Uh, there was some discussion uh, on the mod portal about having the name changed because apparently it's not like technically correct and for me personally it can get a little confusing with like uh, the big electric pole, medium electric pole, and large electric pole um, type of thing so maybe the name will change to something a little more appropriate at some point like I said super new uh, but this thing adds uh, the ability to kind of span even farther areas because you can see here even with the big one the vanilla one the wire reach is 30 whereas on this one the wire reach is 64 so it's more than double uh, but another thing to note is that the supply area of the big power pole, this does have a supply area, obviously, as I'm sure you guys are aware. Uh, whereas this one does not. This cannot supply any um, anything with electricity directly, um, right? This is just uh, meant for spanning large distances. And it is actually unlocked from the beginning of the game, which I find a little bit strange. Uh, maybe that could be changed. Again, it's super new mod. Uh, but if we look here, it's 10 copper, 10 steel, and an electric, electronic circuit. So it is more expensive than this, uh, at least, even though you do get it from the beginning of the game. And uh, one thing that I really like is that unlike the vanilla power poles, which the way the vanilla power poles are, it wouldn't really matter if they rotated. Um, actually, they do rotate. I'm just an idiot. Um, <laughs> but uh, th this thing also rotates, I should say. So you can see, like, depending on what direction it goes, it kind of rotates, which is really nice. Uh, now, the dev did say that if you're trying to place these in like really tight areas, there's currently a little bit of a problem with like the hitbox. So you do want to be careful with that. Um, but you can see here, so if I just, if I take this and I just run, uh, there we go. So there's max distance and the holding power pole, holding button down to place power poles at max distance obviously works. So there's that. Um, and then just to demonstrate visually for you guys, uh, that of course screwed that up because of the connection. Um, but there you go. So there's the distance. Here's the big ones and here's the large ones. And again, that screwed that up because that disconnected. And there we go. Whoops. <laughs> so you can see there's a little issue with the rotation box. Um, but that's okay. Okay. And then obviously you can connect red and green wires to these as well, which I think look really cool. You know, like three lines going through this may make it look a little bit more like real life. Um, there we go. And that actually turns the rotation back again, which is super nice. And there we go. So I think these are neat. Like if you imagine these running like either down the middle of your railroads or like down the sides of them or something, uh, or like along the outskirts of your base or like down the middle of your bus or something, I think this would be really, really cool. Uh, so definitely worth checking out if you you know want an even farther distance um, stretched than the uh, than the big electric poles. And it looks like this is supposed to be a shadow potentially. Um, or a glitch, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there it is. Link below to the mod portal as always. You can check it out. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. Take care and leave any thoughts and questions you have down below. I'll see you later.